White House said this afternoon that there's evidence now that Iran actually has troops on the ground in Crimea supporting Russia's invasion. Um, has the Pentagon seen evidence of this? And do you have further comment that you can make about uh, the drones, the continued Iranian drones that seem to be uh, striking in Ukraine? Um, on, the, on your first question, yes. Um, we do assess uh, that Iranians have been on the ground uh, in Ukraine to assist Russia uh, with uh, the drone operations there. Um, and so in terms of uh, what that means, obviously, again, we continue to see Iran uh, be complicit in terms of exporting terror, uh, not only in the Middle East region, but now also to Ukraine. Uh, and so, um, you know, I think that speaks for itself. Hey, Shalom Amakim. I want to start by giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem El Shai, by Hashem Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of the great millstone for teaching us truth and for ruling well, and peace and temptation to all you I came out there pushing and defending this gospel throughout the four corners of the earth, as well as see believers in Yahweh, by Hashem El Shai, the man and the woman. This is the brother Kahana Law from the GMS Y. And um, I just want to do a quick, you know, in transit. <clears throat> so like I'm not going to be able to uh, post any scriptures on the screen. But, you know, as you brothers and sisters see on the screen and you heard, you know, uh, now we have uh, Iran uh, getting involved in the whole uh, Russia-Ukraine situation, which ultimately is nothing less than uh, biblical prophecy uh, coming to pass, man. You know, the scriptures tells us in the book of Matthew that what? That we should hear of wars and rumors of wars. You know, and these are, are, are the wars, the rumors of wars that we've been waiting for, man. You know, because uh, ultimately we've had, you know, uh, we've had... Um, Scuffles, we had confrontations, you had uh, proxy wars, you know, all throughout history, but uh, not uh, not uh, between the the prophetic, you know, nations that are mentioned in the scriptures, man, and not in the time where the MOTB, which is that C hip. Uh, which is being pushed out, man. So, you know, this lets us know, you know, like the prophet Ezra says, you know, uh, measured out the time diligently within itself. And uh, the book of Second Ezra is the ninth chapter. You know, we know via what, via the, the, the measuring of times through the scriptures that we enter in these, the end of the end times, man. You know, where the Lord is going to um, establish uh, that that MOTB of the B system, which ultimately he's gonna do it through Esau, Edom, uh, and his establishment. But uh, you know that that's gonna be a, a mandatory thing. And uh, once that's established, then we're gonna see this war that's uh, being built up. You know because scripturally. Uh, all these countries are gonna, you know, go at it, man. And then the main uh, characters in this war is gonna be Babylon the, the Great, aka America, uh, being pulled into the war by uh, the least of the flock, which is the state of Israel. And then you're gonna have, on the other side, you're gonna have the Medes, or Gog and Magog, which is Russia. And uh, the other prophetic nation, which is mentioned in the scriptures, is uh, Iran. You know, which in the scriptures is mentioned as the Persians. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> should I get? <clears throat> That's current events. Keep developing, man. We see. That the scriptures, that the word of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai are sure, man. You know, and they're going to come to pass. Ultimately, we don't know exactly. We can't pinpoint exactly the the 
the reason, the motive of, of why the war is going to start. But we do have uh, the, the outcome. You know, we do know that America, uh, the state of Israel, are going to go into war uh, to with um, Russia and uh, Iran, man. You know, and other countries, of course, are going to get involved, other nations that are allied to these other countries, to these uh, main uh, nations. But nevertheless, we see in the world stage being prepared for uh, the word of Yahweh Hashem was shot to be fulfilled, man. You know, and we, as watchmen of Yahweh Hashem was shot, we have to be out here uh, warning our people, man. Because just as how prophecies is unfolding, at the same time, simultaneously, the doors of mercy of Yahweh Hashem was shot are shut, man. You know, the closer. And closer we get uh, to the end, you know, to these prophecies, judgment being uh, beginning and, and being established, the closer and closer, the op or or the the less or the yeah the the less opportunity uh, our people have uh, of of repenting, man, of of, of receiving that pardon. Of the judgment that is going to come and That's why You know the scripture tells us to go out there and, 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 and preach unto our people man Because once these doors of mercy shut You know the Lord's going to bring That famine of the word And nobody's going to be able To receive uh, The gospel man The good news This word You know we're not going to be out In the streets uh, Preaching publicly anymore It's going to be to where Esau is going to censor uh, the internet to where you cannot find the truth anymore. Anything related with, with the Bible, with especially with the Hebrew Israelites, is going to be censored, man. And we already see, we've been seeing how uh, throughout the years, Esau has came up with more and more uh, tactics to keep the word from coming out, man. You know, shadow banning us. Uh, uh, deleting our videos Deleting channels So it's gonna get worse man Because When 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 uh, These nations These conflicts Keep escalating uh, People are gonna start Asking questions And the only ones that have The answers To those questions Are the men of the Lord Starting off with the apostles And elders at Great Moso man So guess where the people Are gonna go they're going to try to seek those with the answers, man. And Esau, the last thing he wants is for Jake, chiefly, to know the truth. They don't want you to wake up out of that deep sleep that you're in. But ultimately, Yahweh Shem Yahushai sent his prophets, <clears throat> his servants, uh, to, to preach the word, man. So that what? So that the elect can awake. And those that are allotted for salvation, they're going to uh, convert through the hearing of the word. And they're going to repent and Lord willing, you know, they be part of the elect. Uh, be pardoned from the from the destruction that's coming, man. As the days go by, man, we getting closer and closer uh, to, to our salvation, man. And closer and closer to this world, this wicked kingdom, uh, being uh, destroyed, man. By what? By by uh, chaos in the streets, by uh, you know uproars of the people, and chiefly through that war, that nuclear war that's gonna happen between these countries, man, and um, and. Uh, the chariot fire that the Lord is going to bring once Yahweh Shah enters this atmosphere, man. But on, before that great spiritual uh, battle begins between Yahweh Shah and the angels and, and Esau and his angels, we're going to see great turmoils upon earth, man. We're going to see more pestilences, more, you know, uh, 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 Economic, economic uh, uh, troubles, 
and chiefly that this war, man, which ultimately war brings all those, all of the before mentioned, man. When the Third World War begins, man, it is gonna be, hey, it's gonna be a sight to see. That's all, all I can say, man, because people are gonna be tested to their limits. You know, you're gonna have uh, people. Uh, you're gonna have people. Uh, the White House said. So like, you're gonna have people committing uh, suicide. You're gonna have people, you know, doing a, a bunch of things, man. And we've already uh, seen nations like Venezuela collapse, Sri Lanka, or Argentina. Even from uh, where I'm from, you know, this morning I was speaking to some elders, some uh, elderly people of my family. And they were telling me how basically what happened to Venezuela is, is, is going to happen to Colombia. That everybody's, all, all those jakes out there are, are trying to get out and come to Babylon the Great. You know, but again, e even them, those that escape over there, they're going to come here thinking it's going to be a, a better life, man. Not knowing that, that the greatest judgment that the Lord is going to bring is here in, in, in this in the soils of America, man. For what it it has done to the Lord's people, and for chiefly uh, crossing out Yahweh Bashim Shai and covering you know the, the the faces of of the Most High and of His Son Yahweh Shai and putting their Edomite faces on them, man, making making it seem as if they're the Most High and His Son, you know. And we're getting ready, man. These are the signs that we were waiting for. You know? So, hey, with that, I just wanted to do a quick update, a quick impromptu. Man, we living in exciting times, brothers and sisters. You know, we got to keep pushing, you know, keep fighting for, for Yahweh Hashem HaOshah. Stand tall for righteousness. For Yahweh Hashem HaOshah's sake. And we're going to get a, a great reward, which is going to begin... With salvation, man. There's a lot of things that are about to come our way. A lot of things, brothers and sisters. And we gotta prepare through the spirit to be strong enough to overcome, man. We gotta pray Yahweh Shema Shah to give us the strength to overcome. And to give us that sound mind, that spirit of a sound mind to be able to judge a right. And navigate through, through these times of trouble, troubles that are coming, man. You know, so hey, with that, all praise, honor, and glory go to Yahweh, by Shema Ushah, by Shema Hey, till next time, Lord willing, hey, Shalom.